everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So guess what we're doing in today's video? Well, you guys already know because you can see the title, but today we're actually attaching our electronics to the bamboo uh, trike, which I'm super excited about. So let's take a look at what's actually going to get attached and how this drive is actually going to be attached to this wheel. And that's the first thing that we've got to do. We're still going to be using the same 500 watt motor setup that we've been using in other projects. But there's a little twist to this, and that is this little cog that I've got attached. And this is a drive belt cog which has 16 teeth, and Rob did a video on this technique quite a while ago, and the video number for that is 1084. So, like I said, this has 16 teeth, and the big cog that's on the back wheel has 136 teeth. So you can work it out to be around an 8 to 1 gear ratio, which should give us a nice amount of torque. I'm not 100% sure on the top speed, but I'm going to assume that it's gonna go pretty fast anyway. So, let's get this thing attached. So there's been a slight change to this back wheel, and you're probably gonna notice that it's a little bit smaller. Don't worry, it didn't shrink. I've decided to change it myself. So, there was a reason why I did this, and that big, big, big back wheel with the massive cog in it was actually a little bit too large, and it was actually tipping the whole trike over this way. So I decided to put this smaller wheel in it to level it out very nicely. And this is something that I'm actually quite proud of. This drive system right here. And I think that this is absolutely awesome. So, I don't know if you can see, but my motor's over here with the small cog that I showed you um, at the beginning of the video. And then we've got this nice big cog which is attaching the back wheel drive to this motor. And this is actually going to give us a lot of torque. To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure on the gear ratios anymore, but I know that it works quite nicely. So, with this all now being installed, it's time to attach the electronics. But first, I want to give you a close-up of this drive system, because again, I think it's absolutely fantastic, and I'm actually quite proud of it. Here is a close-up of the dry system, and I know that I've said it before, but it's absolutely fantastic. And you're probably going to notice that there's this bar that's been carbon wrapped to the frame. And basically, I have a sleeve on here which is connected to this middle, or this intermediate drive cog. And this acts as a pivot point, so that means when it moves, it can actually move up and down, which is pretty cool if I decided to add pedal power, because I could basically attach a lever which pulls it tight when I want to engage the motor, and I can let it loose again if I want to engage the pedal power. So I'm thinking about implementing that at some point. So now we know how this dry system works, let's attach the rest of the electronics. Here are all the electronics attached, and I have to admit, if I pull this throttle back, this thing has quite a lot of torque. So the next thing to do is take it out in the car park and just give it a little ride. So let's do it. So let's give it a go. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> so that was just awesome, wasn't it? Going up and down the car park with no worries, no qualms. And I have to admit something, this drive system is just pure awesome. I mean, it's very steampunk slash Victorian, isn't it? It just, it's just a little bit crazy, which I absolutely love. And I'm definitely thinking about reusing this dry system in something else. And I'm definitely thinking about rebuilding this, but as a quad, using steel. So, this dry system will come into handy very soon. And with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. If, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. 